The Shape of Water had a monster night at last night's Oscars, but the film is also receiving praise for its use of special effects makeup. Jason Deathridge, a St. Catharines native, worked on the film, and while you may not know his name, you'll certainly know his work. Tegan Versalato has the story. You may think that thing looks human. Stands on two legs, right? And to achieve that effect, actor Doug Jones wore a heavy and sometimes wet latex and rubber suit. So we put the suit on him every day that he shot. And uh, it was about, a, I mean, we got it down to about two and a half hours, uh, but it started off as a four hour kind of process. Jason Deathridge, along with three other special effect makeup artists, spent nearly four months working on The Shape of Water in Toronto. So there's, there's secret elements to the movie where, you know, Sally Hawkins was never naked in the movie, even though. She's seen naked in the movie. It's kind of cool. There's a full body suit. The quirky love story between a mute cleaning woman and a merman won four Oscars, including Best Picture for director Guillermo del Toro. He sees me as I am. Deathridge also worked with del Toro on his film Crimson Peak. What do you want? And he's amazing. He's, he's you know, he really kind of knows what he wants and as, a, as an effects artist, as a makeup artist, you really want to work with somebody who knows what you do. And when he's not on set in Toronto, he can be found behind the counter at Lester D's serving up some movie theme grub. Order up, Blockbuster BLT. Deathridge started the family run diner in St. Catharines during the early days of his special effects career. He started out doing little, little costumes just for Halloween for us when we were little. Graduating from Halloween costumes to Oscar nods. Um, it was a really big, big opportunity for him. He was very, very floored by it. We all thought it would happen. We didn't actually think it would happen. So it's really, really exciting. Because The Shape of Water was shot in both Hamilton and Toronto, Deathridge hopes it will encourage the Canadian film industry to grow. You know, the income that can be brought in, the revenue that these cities can bring in, I think that, you know, if you took film a little more seriously, maybe we could win some Oscars as Canadians. And while the film wasn't nominated for Best Makeup, this won't be the last you'll see of Deathridge or his crazy creations. Tegan Versalato, CHCH News.